Bertov, Allah Yahuwah, Kavada Abba, for this day. It is a day that you have made. I will rejoice and esteem you in it. May I be found in your will today. Psalms 110. <laughs> Yahuwah said to my master, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Yahuwah send your mighty scepter out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people volunteer in the day of your might, in the splendors of the set apartness, Yikadoshness. From the womb, from the morning, you have the dew of your youth. Yahuwah has sworn and does not relent. You are a priest forever. According to the order of Melchizedek, your right hand, Yahuwah shall smite sovereigns in the day of his wrath. He judges among the nations. He shall fill the nations with dead bodies. He shall crush over the mighty earth. He drinks of the stream by the wayside. Therefore he does lift up the head. Psalms 110. Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah our Elohim, Yahuwah is a God. And you shall love Yahuwah with all of your heart, with all of your being, and with all of your might. And these words which he is telling you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, everywhere you go, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and shall bind them as a sign on your hand with everything you do, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes how you see everything. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Let them be the fence around you. Praise John. Messiah said that the two greatest commands in all of the laws written by our Maker are to love the Creator with all of your heart with all of your being and with all of your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. 
It's Luke 10, 27. And when he was asked which, guard, which commands needed to be guarded, those two will give you everlasting life. The one, but when asked again which ones he needed to guard were needed to be guarded to <clears throat> um, enter into life, In Matthew 19, starting at verse 18 through 21. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Respect your father and your mother. Bearing false witness. Don't lie about someone. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself and after having done all of these if you desire to be perfect go and sell what you have give to the poor and you shall have treasure in the shamayim and come follow messiah that's it it's that easy but when you have many possessions to have to give away It'll make you sad to know that. That's going to be a hard thing to do for some of us. Abba Father, I lift my hands as a sacrifice to you. And I bow my heart. Our Abba, who is in the Shamayim, Yit Kadosh is your name. Your reign come. Your desire and will be done in earth, be done now, as it is in the Shamayim. Give us this day our daily portion. And forgive us our unrighteousness, sins, trespasses, whatever. As we forgive those who are unrighteous, sinned, trespassed, or whatever to us. And lead us not into the hands of Misah. But deliver us from the adversary. For yours is the reign. Ki lacha mahalaka. And the power. Vahag vora. And the esteem. Vahatir eret. Eternal. Leo Lame Olamim Barukata Yahua Elahainu Malekha Olim Word to the Father through the Son that my words be washed clean and reach the Shamayim. So be it. Tawada Abba. We're about to read your word, Abba. The words according to Mark. 11 or 12. Let's see. Yes, Mark 12. And he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard and put a hedge around it and dug a vat for the wine press and built a watchtower, and let out to farmers, and went away. And at harvest time he sent a servant to the farmers to receive some of the fruit of the vineyard from the farmers. And they seized him, and beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. 
And again he sent them another servant, and throwing stones at him, they wounded him in the head and sent him away, having insulted him. And again he sent another, and they tried to kill him, and many others beating some and killing some. And had one more son, his beloved, he had one more son, his beloved, he sent him last of all, saying, they shall respect my son. But those farmers said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. So they took him and killed him, and threw him out of the vineyard. What then shall the owner of the vineyard do? He shall come and destroy the farmers, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture, the stone which the builder rejects has become the chief cornerstone? This was from Yahuwah, and it is marvelous in our eyes. They were seeking to seize him, but feared the crowd, for they knew he had spoken the parable against them, and leaving him they went away. And they sent him some of the Pharisees and the Herodians to catch him in the word, in a word. And they came. They said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true, and it does not concern you about anyone, for you are not partial to anyone, but teach the way of Elohim in truth. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? And he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you try me? Bring me a silver piece to look at. And they brought it, and he said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. So Emmanuel the Messiah said to them, Give to Caesars what is Caesars, and to Elohim what is Elohim. And they marveled at him. And the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him. And they asked him, saying, Teacher, Moshe wrote to us that if a brother of anyone dies, and leaves his wife behind, and leaves no children, his brother should take his wife and raise up offspring for, the, for his brother. There were seven brothers, and the first took a wife and died, leaving no offspring. And the second took her, and he died, leaving, no, leaving behind no offspring. And the third likewise, and the seven left no offspring. Last of all, the woman died too. In the resurrection then, when they raised, Whose wife shall she be? For seven had her as a wife. And Messiah, Emmanuel answering them, said to them, Is this not why you go astray? Because you do not know the scriptures, nor the power of Elohim. For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as messengers in the Shamayims, And concerning the dead, that they rise, have you not read the book of Moshe at the bush, how Elohim spoke to him, saying, I am the Elohim of Abraham, and the Elohim of Yitzhak, and the Elohim of Yaakov? Is he not the Elohim of the dead? I'm sorry. Verse 27, he is not the Elohim of the dead, but Elohim of the living. You then go greatly astray. And the one and one of the scribes coming near, hearing them reasoning together, knowing that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first command of all? And Emmanuel, the Messiah, answered him. The first of all the commands is, 
Shema Yisrael. Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah our Elohim, Yahuwah is a God, and you shall love Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first command, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other command greater than these. And the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, for you have spoken the truth. For there is one Elohim, and there is no other besides him. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the being, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is more than than all the burnt offerings and offerings. And when Messiah saw that, he answered wisely. He said to him, You are not far from the reign of Elohim. And after that, no one was bold enough to question him. And the Messiah, Emmanuel, responding, said, While teaching in the Yit Kadosh place, set apart, how is it that the scribes say that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself said by the set-apart spirit, Yikadosh spirit, Yahuwah, the creator, said to my master, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool to your feet. Hallelujah. That was just in Psalms 1. 10 that we did today. Well, David himself calls him master. In what way then is he his son? And the large crowd heard him gladly. And in his teaching, he was saying to them, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and like greetings in the marketplaces and the best seats in the congregations and the best places at the feasts who are devouring widows' houses and for a show make long prayers. These shall receive greater judgment and sitting opposite the treasury, he saw how the people put copper into the treasury, and many rich ones put in much. And a poor widow came and threw in two small copper coins, which amount to a cent. And calling near his taught ones, he said to them, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all those putting into the treasury. For they all put in out of their excesses, but she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had, her entire livelihood. Sawada Abba for your word. May it impress us on this day, Abba. May we do Shema, hear and obey every word that is written. These are the words of your son, of your word. This is your word according to what we believe, according to Mark 12. May we Shema his word today so that we receive his shalom and agape. Abba, Father, may we shema your word today so that we receive your shema and agape. Word to the Father through the Son that my words be washed clean and reach the shamaim. So be it.